Hello guys! So I thought that just like last year, I wanted to show you what I got in Japan but I don't think I can show you all of the things that I bought this year because I bought a lot of things. So I'm just going to show you the most important stuff um, and the things I think you want to see. So I was thinking I should split up this video into four parts. One with Japan haul, one with makeup haul and Kudetama haul and Disney haul because I have so many things to show you so I think it's better to do it this way. So let's get started on this Japan haul with general things I bought in Japan. First of all, I want to show you the food things that I got in Japan. First of all, I got some new candy kits. Um, these are not the only ones, but I'm looking forward to making these for you. In the airport in Narita, I bought Kit Kat with green tea um, because I didn't really have room in my suitcase so I had to buy some at the airport and they're a bit more expensive but they come in these really nice packages. I also bought this Pocky Rainbow and it's Pocky with seven different colors, um, seven different flavors. I also bought QP mayonnaise and yakisoba sauce just because it's so good and it's really expensive here in Denmark. You can get it but it's pretty expensive so. I bought some from Japan. I also got some negi, some... what do you call negi? Oh yeah, green onion put on top of the food. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to try. I also think it'll be interesting to try this one. It's matcha salt and I tasted it and it's... it really is like matcha mixed with salt. And the last food thing I got was this cup noodle thing that I designed myself. Painted my sister, my brother and I and the chicken ramen and kudetama. I think you have to eat it one month after you made it, so this one's actually too old um, and I put some interesting stuff in it, so uh, I don't really think I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I also got some new tea. This is... Uh, I think it's kind of a matcha tea. I'm not really an expert of tea, so Japan has so many different varieties of tea, also varieties of green tea. I always buy green tea when I go home from Japan because I don't know, it's not the same in Denmark. So now that we have looked at the food things I got in Japan, let's move on to the kitchen stuff. As you saw in one of my videos, I think it was the second video from Japan, uh, in my 2000 subscribers video where I was at the My Melody Kiki Lala Cafe, I got this cup for free with the set, um, which I didn't know, but I think it's super cute and I got it for free, so... I also bought this teapot with flowers on. And I also bought this really cute ball, it's like a sakura leaf. And I got these two. They are like sakura leaves, but it's for leaving your chopsticks on top. I thought they were pretty cute. I also got two Mount Fuji balls, one in pink or red and one in blue. So I thought they were pretty cute and I got these at a 100 yen shop. I got a rice cooker for Christmas, but unfortunately I threw the rice Thing away so I have to buy a new one and this one is with Mickey. One of the last things that is not really a kitchen thing but kind of is, is this mug from Starbucks. It's a special airport edition. I thought it was a pretty cool souvenir so I had to buy this one at the airport. And now it's time for all the other random things that I got in Japan. When I'm in Japan I often buy magazines and this year I bought Kera. It's pretty cool and I usually like to read magazines about fashion and stuff. It's got a lot of different alternative Japanese styles. I also got a CD. This one is with Imagine Dragons but it was really cheap. I got some straws. I thought they were pretty cute and they were 100 yen. Got some new intuition blades. I really like to shave my legs with the intuition shaver so I had to get some new ones because they are so expensive in Denmark it's like triple the price or something during summer festivals in Japan people in the street often hand out fans and stuff like that mostly for commercials but I got this one with Olaf and I thought it was pretty cute I also bought some face masks like this one this one is Fredericks um, but we are going to try some of them on in a video for you when Frederick and I are in Japan we try gacha a lot and here I won this cute one it's one of Sanrio's new characters I think this is creamy mummy and this was a cute hamster so adorable just like you can have it in your hand when you pocket I don't really own a computer mouse so I got this one in Yorubashi camera in Akihabara and it was only 600 yen I think and I got this mouse pad with it too. I think this one was 300 yen. Also got this one for opening bottles and it's a magnet so you can hang it on your fridge. One really cool thing that I got this year is this Elecom um, charger so 
if you charge it at home, you can put it in your pocket or your bag. And when your iPhone runs out of battery, you can use this. And it's pretty easy to use and it wasn't that expensive. I also got some postcards. This one is of Mount Fuji from when I went to Kawaguchiko. And I also got these postcards at Big Eco Karaoke the last night um, in Narita. I don't know this picture, but this one is pretty famous and this one too. In 100 yen shops you can also find some special Disney DVDs. And this one was 100 yen. So it's pretty cool. It's also in English, so don't worry. Oh, you might have seen me use this, but I use this for when I'm removing my makeup. Cute little kitty. You probably know that I love Purikura, so of course I got a lot of Purikura this year. I got a lot of accessories too, like this watch. Um, I've shown some of the other accessories that I got in Japan um, in another video, so go ahead and check that out, my summer favorites. And I got sunglasses iPhone cases. This cover is with a lot of different Japanese foods. It looks really good. They have, for example, natto, nori, umeboshi, and I also got this flower crown. I also got new earrings at Claire's. They're pretty cool, and as you can see, I've taken some of them out. I also got a fan. This one is just 100 yen, but I got some different headbands. Just a black one, and this one. This is actually not mine, but as you might have seen, we also got a Polaroid camera or Frederick bought one. So we got one in blue, pretty easy to use, I think. And here are some of the pictures. I think I might have shown you, but I also got some hair things. So you can use this and you can make different hairdos with this uh, if you put your hair in ponytail. And of course, I got some fake eyelashes. They're pretty cheap in Japan, so. I also got some bookmarks for university. In my summer favorites video, I also shown these uh, metal temporary tattoo stickers. Me and my mom have a thing that when we go to a country, we have to bring some toothpaste um, back to Denmark. So I have the Japanese toothpaste. I also got some kanji books. Yay! So many. I should get started on using them here in Denmark. Of course, I also have my Suike card. Frederick also got three Super Sonico figures, and this is one of them. I don't really know many anime and manga characters, but I know Super Sonico, so... I also got some files for papers, like this one. This one is with Harry Potter. I'm such a big Harry Potter fan, so... And just like last year, I got some coloring books. I really find it very relaxing on a Saturday morning to just relax and color in coloring books and I think it's just really nice. And I also got some cushions for our furniture outside on our balcony. I also got a lot of clothes in Japan. I'm just going to show you some very few pieces. So I got this cap in Tokyo and I thought it was pretty cool. I also got this beanie for winter and so nice. As for bags, I got this one. Uh, I know it says depressed, um, but I thought it was pretty cool, kind of emo style. I got this super nice scarf for winter and I'm already using it, um, but it's just so nice, so soft. And shoes. So I got boots. I really love these boots. So nice. Also really nice to wear. Ballerinas. And these stilettos. I think they were like 500 yen or something. Under a thousand yen. And these shoes are also really nice. As for clothes. Yeah, I decided to get this schoolgirl outfit. Um, so I have something to wear for Halloween. And yeah. I also got some dresses. And I got a lot of jeans. And shirts. And yeah, I'm not going to show you all of my things because it's just too much. <laughs> I might have bought like 20-30 pieces of clothes. It's insane. So I also got this bunny neck thing. So the last thing that I'm really happy that I bought in Japan is these two guys. I'm a really big Super Mario fan and it's so nostalgic to me to play Super Mario. So I had to buy this boo and it's so nice. And I also got this small Pikachu because I like Pokemon, but I've never really watched Pokemon um, and my favorite is just Pikachu, so I have to buy these two guys too. 
so that was the first part of my Japan haul with all my random things, clothes and different pieces. But thank you so much for watching my video and if you liked it, please give it a big like and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!